Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, there he is. Got him. Oh my gosh, another one. So in the last video, we actually ran a giveaway. I ended up giving away a fishing reel and a bunch of other tackle. And I was like, man, that's only gonna be given out to one person. So I was like, in this video, we're gonna run a whole nother giveaway back to back, back to back uploads for you guys. Because I was checking my analytics the other day and just this month, guys, this is unbelievable. This is actually the biggest month of kicking their bass. I've been doing this almost eight years. This month we gained already 41,000 new subscribers to the Kick in Their Bass fam. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. So therefore we're gonna be running another giveaway. I want you guys to see how fast we can get Kick in Their Bass to 500K. And if we end up hitting 500K pretty quick, we're just gonna have to run a massive giveaway. I'm gonna have to get with some of the comp companies I work with and just get a ton of tackle for you guys, some rod and reel combos. Just a ton of stuff if we end up hitting that 500K, but let me show you what we're gonna be giving away today. So I had a couple of these Super Six Sacks from a while ago. I believe this one was from last year, it was around Christmas time, I had a couple of them. And if you guys don't know what the Six Cent Super Six Sack is, it's actually a monthly subscription box with premium products inside of it. And I pretty much filled this up with a bunch of different baits. Um, it's not all Six Cent stuff, I just filled it up with a bunch of stuff. So let's go ahead and dump it out so I can show you. So right here, we got some more Six Cents Divine Shaky of Worms. We got a decal, we got the Super Six Sack, we got a frog, we got some six cent straight shank hooks, we got a divine swim jig, and also some Sankos. These are already open, but I was like, you know what, we're just gonna throw this in the mix as well. But I'm gonna be throwing this all in the giveaway for today's video. If you guys wanna enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel, hit that notification bell, and also hit the like button on this video, and you guys are entered to the giveaway. I'll be announcing the winners to both of these probably sometime next week, so if you guys wanna enter, go do so. If you guys haven't entered in the last video, go do that as well. But if you guys wanna check out the Super Six Sack, on the Six Cents website, you can go ahead and check it out. I actually pop my discount code on the screen if you guys are interested in this monthly subscription box. Like I said, the best one on the market, all premium product um, in the boxes, so it's pretty cool. In today's video, me and Adam actually took a trip down to Florida. We started off doing some top water fishing, and then we ended up switching over to a big worm and started catching some good fish. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Let's go ahead and hop right into it. I love you guys so much. Hit that freaking subscribe button and like button. Let's get right into it. Yo, what's popping, people? Welcome back to another video. Thank you guys so much for for the support if you're new to the channel please hit that subscribe button hit the notification bell and also hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying the content i hope you guys are having a great day today we're going to be doing some bass fishing trying to catch some big fish i'm super excited about it we're going to be rocking with some top waters you guys know i love top water fishing i'm sure you guys too so this is going to be a banging episode got my boy a dub right here you want to say anything to the people uh, what do you got in your mouth, bro? Bro, this is the juice, son. Dude, what are you... This is the juice. That's a large mouth right there, boy. That's a large mouth. Hi, Kicking Her Bass TV fan. By the way, if you guys want to check out his channel... Yeah, go check it out. Go check it out. We just hit 20K, so like, go yeah, check it out right now. Yeah, A-Dub. Yeah. A-Dub actually hit 20K on the drive over here. We're in Florida today. By the way, I'm, I don't live in Florida. A lot of you guys think I live in Florida, guys. I don't live in Florida. I'm um I'm in South Georgia. I used to live in Atlanta, Georgia. For you guys that are wondering, I finally get that off my chest, bro. So many people <laughs> ask me, they're like, Noah, you're from ask. Florida. I'm like, guys, I'm not. I'm not from no. Florida. But um, yeah, we're gonna be trying some bass fishing out, catching some big ones, top orders. This, this this is what I'm throwing. Okay, this is the Mag Dog from Six Cents. This thing right here is big, and that's that's for big bass. We've caught some pretty pretty good sized fish on this thing. Noah's throwing a little Twinkie, little popper. I mean, look at the size difference. I'm gonna catch big ones. This, He's gonna catch little ones. I, I'm so. gonna tell you that Mag Dog, it bro, calls them, it calls them in. We we went out fishing with a Mag Dog here a few times before, and something about that Mag Dog. It just attracts the big fish. Like when you're swim bait fishing, when you're fishing with huge swim baits, you have a bunch of big bass that follow you in. Yep. And I swear that is like the top water version of a big swim bait. It's super they, loud. I think that that like deep knock, you yeah. gotta hear it. That, that noise that one just knock. like calls them in. That, that one knock right there and something about the bait. It's not like a grass bait. It's not a top water bait you're gonna throw around on grass. It's something that you're gonna work very fast for like schooling bass. But let me tell you, that thing just calls up the big ones. And that color that you're actually using is perfect for today, A-Dub. It's actually, um. It's overcast today, as you guys can tell, a bunch of clouds in the sky. It is humid, it is a little hot today. I think it's 97, very hot actually. But that color right there, like on a cloudy day, I like using a bone color, a white color. Um, if it's sunny outside, I like using a chrome. You know, that's kind of the rule and thumb there. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna be going with this bad boy right here. This is by Six Cents, a little tiny popper. And this is actually a bluegill one. I wish I had like a bone color or a white one, 
but I think we're going to go with the bluegill today, and uh, we're going to give it a shot, man. I haven't filmed a video with this. I actually went out fishing with it a few times, but I haven't filmed like a solid video fishing with this bad boy. So I'm going to give you my honest review, and this is quite different than your normal popper. Like, as you guys can tell, the standard poppers, they all look the same. That thing splashes so loud. Yeah, it does really splash. It is so loud. I've used those things. It is like the biggest splash you'll get out of a popper. It's called the splashback. <laughs> that thing is crazy. But uh, yeah, we're going to give that a shot, and I'm going to be tying it on. I'm not going to be using braid. Um, I told Ada my braid rod is like my frog rod and it's a meat stick and I'd probably lose a lot of fish on that so I'm actually going to be using a mock crush today and this just has fluorocarbon I think we're going to be fine with it on a popper and uh, we're going to go at it and Ada is going to be chunking that big meat stick with that big slobber donk and hopefully catch a big fish so let's go ahead and get this started hashtag big bass energy down below be tagging me on the instagram be tagging me on everything actually big shout out i know a lot of you guys message me and i can't message everyone back you guys got to understand i get hundreds of dms a day but sports center posted me super grateful for that that was that was awesome that was one of the coolest things to see on sports center like they've posted my stuff before all over they posted like four or five of my videos but Post me on the legit Instagram page that that was awesome. That was cool. Like House of Highlights posted it, but Sports Center man, that was some cool stuff. But anyways, we're gonna hop into today's video. Hit that freaking like button. Let's go have some fun. A dub said you just saw a fish. I just turned off the camera. What are you talking about? Dude, there's a bass, like a four pounder swimming right there on the top. I don't know where he went. I turned around and then he was gone. He's right there? Yeah, he was literally swimming on the surface. It's like a three or a four pounder. I don't know if I can get him or not. But that thing was literally just cruising. Look, there's another fish right there. I think that's a big tilapia, though. Yeah, it might have been a tilapia. No, that was a bass. I saw him. See, last time I came here, there was a ton of tilapia. That was 100% yeah, a bass. See, there's some tilapia down there. That was 100% a bass, I'm telling you. He was literally cruising right here. I turned you around. You saw him at the top of the water? I saw him. It was like a three or four pounder. It was a good one. Why don't you flip on here on camera? Live action, Live A dub. Action. All right, we're going to see. Right here, right? No, no right there. Oh, juice, what? juice. Oh, on the pipe? the juice i want to see some live a dub action five pounder to start the day that would actually be kind well, of I, 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 I might have just got bit i'm not even kidding it was like a thud really that was weird like as soon as it hit the box oh, oh dude i saw that i saw look at the boil bro yo it's gonna be crazy today boys oh my god it's gonna be this is why i love florida the fishing is you just have a good good time dude, we don't make I, these I trips much but they are fun Dude, flip it back, right, in back in there. Flip back in there, son. Skip it the flipper. Come on, baby. Come on, baby. Dude, I want to see this, A-Dub. Hey, Come on. All right, well, we're going to cut this camera off. I'm going to grab my rod. We're just going to get it started because this it looks like it's going to be a nasty day. Conditions are freaking awesome. It's going to be fun. All right, boys, let's get it started. Got A-Dub's knife right here. I'm about to cut this little Texas rig that we got off. As much as I'd actually enjoy throwing this like i'd actually probably want to throw it today but at the same time we are filming a topwater episode if they're not eating it that good you know we'll switch up but you know the main goal today topwaters big bass having a good time just about having a good time guys get out get out in the outdoors have a good time have some fun that's what it's about man you know all these people you know just want to go out and be super competitive that's cool man but listen you got to remember at the end of the day Fishing is about having a good time, man. I don't care what you're doing. I don't care if you're fishing a tournament. I don't care if you're just fun fishing. I don't care if you're lake fishing, river fishing, pond fishing. It's about having a good time. Just remember that. Always remember that. All right, we are good to go. We're gonna put this knife away. We're gonna get her started. Let's uh, get it started, boys and girls. First of all, let's check the drag. Okay, seems about right. We'll loosen it just a tiny bit. Okay, now let's look at this splash back in the water. Let's throw it right here. Look at the splash on that thing. Oh my gosh. Look at that, Ada. That's some fun right there. That thing looks really good. It's just different than every other popper. Oh man, look at that. That is going to get munched today. I just wish I had like a bone color for these conditions, but it'd be all right. Let's give her a shot. I ain't going to lie, bro. This is probably the best popper I've thrown. Like on a reel. Look at look at the pop of that, bro. Yeah, it pops wild. No, it pops so good. And I think me with fluorocarbon right now, look, if I just let it sit, it's not sinking because of the how the head is. Yeah, they usually look at that, bro. Like I'm using fluoro, that should sink. Look at that. And the fluoro is sunken under the water. That's what I think's giving it that pop. Like if I had braid on, I don't think it would be that good. Oh, this is nasty.
little tiny when he came off. I wasn't even paying attention. That was a tiny fish. I was not paying attention whatsoever. That, that bass, I don't even think it was a pound. It's been forever. We have not, that was actually the first bite we've actually had this whole freaking time. All right, so now we're gonna rig this up. Still got this little EWG hook. Hey, Adam, what? do you have any four aughts on this big worm? I don't know if I wanna use that three aught. At least use a four. We're gonna go ahead and cut this popper off. The old splash bag, man. They just did not want top water today, sadly. It is so hot. These fish are feeling like us right now. Adam had these hooks. These are the stout wide gap six inch ones. I've been, I love throwing them. I've, uh, they've been some sharp hooks. I haven't had any problems with these hooks. But this is a four aught, you know, on this big worm. I'm gonna want at least a four aught, if anything, a five aught, but I don't know about that. It's just an old monster. Still a big worm. Put her a little bullet weight. This is a one fourth ounce. Line her up right there. Gonna get our hook. We are going to tie a basic uni knot. You guys know, uni knot's my favorite knot. Gets the job done, I will tell you that. There we go. Wet our line, cinch her down. No phrase in my line, I think we're good. Oop, there goes the hooks. Cut our tag in. We are good to go from there. Now we're gonna get one of these worms. Like I said, these are watermelon red. Zoom old monsters. Big old worm. Gotta love big worm fish. And I haven't done this in a minute, so I was like, this is perfect, especially for the summer bite. That is when they eat a big worm the best is in the summer. Something big and slow that a big girl will munch on. Rig her up, pretty basic, just a little Texas rig. Boom, you got it right there. One fourth ounce weight, four out hook. Zoom old monster. That is the sauce right there. This is in watermelon red. All right, boys, we just made it right out to the pond. Ton of grass out here. This is going to be fun, man. I know we didn't get to do the top water thing, but fishing with big worms, I'm going to let you know right now. That's a lot of fun. So got this little watermelon red, and we're going to give it a shot, see if we can catch a really big one. Oh, there he is. I got him, Adam. Yeah, it's a big one. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. He barely ticked it, bro. That's, oh, oh. I can't tell if he's like four pounds or not. Yo, that is a really good one. Oh man, that was fun. Guys, it's been so long. You know, we fished with those top waters for a long time and we were honestly dragging these worms for a good second. Didn't have any bites, and that's a solid freaking three number. Ain't he? That's a good one. I've got the scale. We just gotta see if it'll work. Yeah, the scale's been acting really weird. What would you say? I'd say three and a quarter to. Yeah, he's probably about three and a quarter. About three. He doesn't have a super big belly. Yeah. He ain't even that. Really? Ooh, two fifteen. Oh, well, it's not even gonna show it. Just trust my word. It was two fifteen. <laughs> it's a long fish. It's a nice one right there. Yeah, it's a pretty fish. Not a bad one, a three, little three pounder. But we're gonna go ahead and get him back in the water. What's that? Worm or what? Yeah, just a little worm. Nice. Yeah, you got it, pretty one. But right there guys, three pounder. We'll get him back in the water. Now that I'm looking at him, he does look like he's about yeah, three pounds. Yeah, he probably is about three. He's just like really long fish and just not really filled yeah, out. Yeah, he's, he's not that fat. He's just like, not that he's not fat, he's not like withy, you know? Yeah. Let's give him a little toss right back in. That was awesome though on the big worm. That bite felt so good. It was just one little tick and he had it. Pretty fish. There he goes. Let's get back in there and try to catch another one. All right guys, well that's our first fish today. That feels good. This was on the watermelon red old monster. Old monster. All it was is just one solid tick. That's all it was. That's all I felt was just tick. The slightest little tick too. I was just dragging that worm. I was pretty positive I'm dragging it. I wasn't popping it. I'm trying to pay attention to the little details because today seems pretty tough. I'm not going to lie. You know, we fished for over an hour and a half without a bite. <laughs> well, we had that one bite on the popper, but rather than that, that was it. So we're just going to keep on throwing this thing. I think we'll get a big one on it today. Oh, 
Oh, come on. That was a bite. Oh, my whole line jumped. Oh, yeah, yeah. He's got it. Oh, my God, no. That sucks. Wait. What? Oh, man. Look at that. Freaking ripped my worm. He hammered that sucker. Let me tell you. I threw it in there, and my whole line popped out of the water. Started put, pulling it a little bit more. I got thumped twice. Tried to hook set, and I guess he didn't have it all the way. And it's about 30 minutes after that last bite. It's been a grind. This is uh, super hot. Almost 100 degrees. I'm sure the heat index says it feels over 100. It's like 97 right now. These fish are feeling like us, man. You gotta slow down. I feel like I got a hook in that fish. That sucks, though. Mm. <gasps> what in the world was that? What kind of fish is that? It's a catfish. It's really flooded. <laughs> oh, oh no no dude it was actually a good one Adam <sighs> freaking three pounds I waited my whole life for that bite right there and I just reeled it in from the fish I literally waited my life for that fish oh Gosh. I have not been schooled this bad in years, bro. Oh my God. Oh my God. I caught a freaking fish as I was talking about that. I was just about to say this is, I've never been schooled this bad by bass in years and I'm not even exaggerating. Lakes, ponds, rivers, ponds, farm ponds stock i don't know what's going on man but this has been one of the most brutal days of fishing that we've had adub hasn't even caught one yet today we've been fishing for like seven hours second fish not a big one but it's a fish this is showing the realisticness of it guys i don't and let me tell you this is a tough day i don't know what's wrong with the fish i think it's just 100 degree weather but they're schooling us right now a pretty little fish hopefully we'll catch more have that one follow me back this is the most activity we've seen in, honestly, all day. Yeah, really. <laughs> Pretty little guy. My worm is definitely bigger than him, but don't really matter at this point. I'm not gonna lie, with that fish biting it, I almost couldn't believe it. Thought I was dreaming. We're gonna try to catch another one. Maybe they're gonna bite good in here. I had one follow me back, and I had that bite, and we've only been here for like 10 minutes. Oh my God. Oh my God. There's a pipe there. I just laid my worm down. This sucker goes. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, bro. It's right in front of me. It's like second cast after that last that one. Was a good one too. That was about a three pounder, bro. I literally set the worm down. He's going. <laughs> I'm like, holy cow. That, that was fun. Not going to lie. All right. Confidence. Big bass energy, baby. Coming back. We were out of stock of the big bass energy for a second. But we about to catch him. I'm feeling good now. That was crazy, man. I'm mad I missed that fish, but that was <laughs> That was a really cool bite. Oh my gosh. I got him. What the freak? Humboy was trying to eat it. He couldn't really grab it. Dude, look at the bulge in this thing. He has a bulge like coming out of his side. He ate that thing about on top of the water. That was on the old grass candy stroker crawl. Not a big one by any means. It's kind of a cool bite though. He was like trying to eat it like in the freaking pads, like on top of the pads. I didn't even know when he had it. I heard something blowing up over there. So I was like, dang, might as well cast. I'm just gonna keep on fishing. See what we can get going. Oh my gosh, another one. The same thing. Oh my gosh, dude. That's insane. They're hitting it like a frog. That's actually a freaking good one. That's not bad at all, dude. Noah's missing out. Noah went back to the truck because 
he was thirsty and he had to take a tinkle and look what i just got like the next cast that's a freaking healthy one right there son that one is not bad at all they're loaded up right there in those pads i think it's because of that shade from the tree i'm not really 100 percent sure but i don't know that's two right there on this crawl honestly i kind of wish i had my frog rod I, I guarantee you i could catch them on a frog right now the way they're hitting this thing because they're not hitting it on the bottom they're hitting it on top of the pads Yes. Yes. I had a feeling you were about to do that. <laughs> I had a feeling you were about to catch me. I just had a weird feeling. <laughs> that was cool. That's crazy. That's freaking crazy. Right out of the tree. That fish was like literally right there. Like right there inside of the tree. There he is. That's actually a decent one. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, stay pin, baby. Stay pin. I got one at him. Oh, she's running right at me. She's a decent one too, guys. Watch this. Oh yeah, this fish feels really good. Oh no. Oh yeah, let's go. Solid little two, two and a half. Yo, that's a good fish. Heck yeah. All right guys, there we go. Solid little two pounder, that's a good fish. Oh gosh, good thing I caught you right there. That's a fat girl though. Beautiful one. Nothing big, but that's a that's a quality one all day. Especially on a tough day like today. I do not mind catching those. Beautiful, beautiful bass. Get her right back in the water. She put in a good fight too. Little chunky two number. There she goes. Beautiful fish. They're biting now. Adam caught a few. I caught a few. Just gotta keep her rolling. Oh, I think one just tickled me, dude. Got him. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, son. Yeah, I knew one freaking tickled me, dude. Not bad. Not bad at all. That's a good fish. Yeah, that might be. Is that the biggest one today? Uh, not that that first one I caught was the biggest. But no, I'm talking about out of this one. Out of here, yeah. That's definitely the biggest. That's a good two number, man. It's yeah, like dude. a middle middle two number on the crawl. my hand. I don't think you're supposed to do that with hooks. Maybe just with jigs. I don't really know. What are you saying? I do it with hooks all the time. It hurts, bro. Well, I also don't have very much room. They're freaking eating. What are you doing? Bro, he's a snakehead. He's trying to swim back in. Well, don't go subscribe to me. I can't even unhook a fish. <laughs> Where'd you put the pliers? Right there, Twink. Oh, I'm colorblind. Sorry, I couldn't see him. <laughs> that's, that's not a joke. <laughs> that's actually it's, true. It's facts. Very true statement. There we go. On the stroker crawl, baby. Nice that's a good bass. fish, though. My other one I caught when you were over there taking a tinkle was about this size. Really? Maybe a little bigger. I'm not really sure. Put them on back right here in the old lake. Bye. There she goes.